Well, the U Sports Football All Canadian and Awards Dinner took place last night, and Mark Rauhaus took home the uh, Russ Jackson Award, which makes the Bisons one of the top receivers to get the award. The award focuses on community service, but on top of being a great athlete, Mark also excels in his studies. So, Mike. Mike, Mark Rawhouse, I'm so focused on your last name, I called you Mike, is with us this morning. Hello there. Hello, hello. Thanks, I clearly, for, me on. thanks for coming on. I clearly need more coffee. How <laughs> was know? it How was it last night to be awarded this? What was it like? It was a, it was a truly wonderful experience. So, um, Queens has shown a lot of great hospitality to us. Uh, there are so many great people uh, who came up to talk to me at the banquet, so many great players, a lot of really like important and uh, really like esteemed coaches out there too. It was a really cool experience. Uh, you've done a lot of work and I was reading about your work specifically with New Directions. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, that was, um, it, was a, it was a really great experience last summer. It all started off with the uh, President's Student Leadership Program uh, based out of U of M with the James Burns Leadership Institute um, where they, they brought students from all across Manitoba and I was really fortunate to be selected as one of them to um Come and it was a start off with a core week where we met a lot of really influential people across Manitoba um, who gave gave their words of advice, uh, gave their time for Q and A's for these young students trying to trying to learn about uh, how, how to lead and how to better lead the communities that they serve. And then after after that kind of core week, we uh, we set off in teams with with goals of making meaningful and sustainable change um, throughout the community. And we, uh, my group, found ourselves with New Directions, who gave us a great shot at uh, making that meaningful change. We, um, yeah, please continue. Tell us more okay. about your work with New Directions. Yeah, so, so New Directions has this awesome supported independent living program where they, um, it's really a, a case-by-case basis for people with special needs transitioning to independent living. And um, my group, we, uh, we addressed the need in that program to... Uh, to work in a like an integrated life skills workshop um, to hopefully uh, equip these uh, individuals with tools to keep them successful in uh, in uh, in today's uh, society. What I love about this is uh, you you go to this, you learn about this, you start meeting as you said with people and hearing the needs. Some people might like leave and then say uh, you know share that message, but you actually work to help formulate a financial skills curriculum because you were talking there as you just mentioned about the practical things that people just were sharing with you that they needed. What was it that made you say you know I have the um, the ability to help with the next step here? You yeah, um. It, it all goes back to how I grew up. My uh, my grandma and my mom they they really taught me the importance of of empathy, and um, you know I, I come from a very privileged place. Um, you know I, I've never had to worry too much about my needs being met, and um, so I'm just being a student athlete too. It gives me such a great position and such a great platform to be able to to branch out and uh, and give back and pay it forward. Did something about New Directions and the supportive program for people living with intellectual and physical disabilities speak to you personally? Well, a hundred percent. You know, um, I have a I have a brother James who uh, who has autism, and you know I I've seen firsthand the the challenges that that he faces, and um, some of the some of the programs within Manitoba, the the ups, and then of, of course the downs and the. Uh, some of the some of the lacking aspects of uh, these support systems. So you know, there's there's obviously there's there's still lots of need. There's still lots of work to do, and um, I was just really happy to to go and be able to 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 address that a little bit and um, you know kind of kind of get the ball rolling in the right direction. You're uh, Mark, as I mentioned, the fourth Bison to win this award, which uh, ties with two other universities uh, for the most all-time wins across the country. What does that say to you about you know Bison players, about Manitobans? Oh, we have so many amazing people on our team. Um, you know, I like coming into the program. There was guys like DJ Lama, Derek Defoe, um, like a, a guy like Colby Kyle, like too, like these. A guy like Derek, he um. He was a Can West West Jackson Award uh, recipient, I, I believe, two times when I first joined the program, and he was pretty much a role model. Like Coach Doby did a great job pointing out him and the things that he does. Um, I know there's there's always been these these really great figures in Bison sports. Um, it, it, like it, it truly, U of M really does provide us with great opportunities to do work, 
And, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely by no means a trailblazer. Uh, there's been a lot of great people before me, and um, I was just trying to follow in their shoes, and I find myself uh, doing the work that I do. You're also, though, a busy student, and you're an athlete, obviously mm-hmm. excelling. Mm-hmm. How do you manage to get it all in <laughs> and do the community work as well? Um, I, I, a, lot of my, a lot of my values, um, I got a lot of... Um, I guess my my work ethic per se it's um I I invest a lot in in the groups and the and the things that I do and um you know like the difference between sports like academics and community work it um I feel like the the big difference in all of it keeps keeps my mind fresh so uh, when I bounce from one thing to another you know it's a, it's a new challenge uh, it's a new it's a new opportunity to go in and put some work in but yeah it's definitely it's definitely busy. Uh, like, uh, sometimes time is tough to find, but, um, so time management is an incredibly important skill. I've learned that the hard way. And, uh, kind of as I, as I keep getting older, as I've spent more time in university, I've been able to hone that in and, um, kind of just make everything work. It's a pretty complex puzzle, but it's, uh, it's worth taking the time and energy to kind of sort it all out. I'm looking at a picture of you, uh, and your father, uh, holding, uh, holding, holding your trophy. Um, you, uh, people might know your name, Mark Rawhouse, uh, also because Bison Sports runs deep in your family. Uh, but for those who don't, can you talk a bit more about that? Oh, for sure. Um, you know, just within U of M alone, like my, my grandpa came, came to coach the Bison football team, uh, back in the nineties. My, my dad and my aunt actually were athlete of the year in the same year, um, my uh, my dad was also a national award winner for for U Sports. He won Lineman of the Year, the JP Metros Trophy, back in his heyday. Um, and just like the the stories that I've heard growing up, he's always been a, a really big motivator and, and and supporter in my sports career, whether it was hockey or football or whatever else I try to get my hands on. Um, but yeah, it was really it was really special to be able to, I guess, kind of leave my stamp in the in the Rajos legacy um, with well, not not just by the sports, but like U Sports football as well, you know, we we found my dad's plaque on the JP Metros, and I think there, there's a really good photo of us each each holding our, our respective trophy back at the banquet last night, and uh, it really did mean a lot to have him out here. Like there are a lot of people coming up and saying like I, they played with my dad, they really respected him as a player. You know, he he was um, so kind of like, catching up with a bunch of people at that banquet too. It was it was cool. Uh, I love that your whole family has given so much to community and to sport. I love, I was just looking at the picture of you and your dad holding the trophy, and it's really, really cool. They must be so proud of you. Uh, congratulations on this, Mark. Thanks again for being up early and telling us, uh, sharing a little bit of the experience with us, and all the best in what you're going to do next. Uh, what are your plans? Just let's talk football for a second here. What's your next big goal? Like, what are you dreaming about on the athletic front? Um, you know, on the athletics front, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a biochemistry co-op student, so... I have a, I have a few work terms left in my degree, so I guess kind of short term I'm a, I'm starting a position with Health Canada within their um, their existing chemical risk assessment bureau, which um, you know like the the past health research that I've done has always been more exploratory. So this position is going to allow me to take kind of more like a policy analysis role, which I think is really cool and really interesting. But um, kind of looking looking long term, I'm going to be writing my MCAT this summer and um, applying for the 2025 or sorry i don't have the the years right in my head but mm-hmm. yeah, i'm gonna be my my goal coming into university like ever since high school is to apply to med school um so i'm gonna be writing my mcat this summer and uh yeah going through the next application cycle i have no doubt uh that you'll do whatever you put your mind to thank you very much thank for you. being with us this morning congrats again thank you very much i appreciate it Mark Rawhouse uh, talking to us this morning, Bison football player last night receiving the Russ Jackson Award. Russ Jackson, of course, uh, now I think some 87 years old, but played with the Ottawa Rough Riders and the CFL for many years in the 60s and 70s and did a great deal of community service work. So uh, Mark Rawhouse receiving the award last night, the Russ Jackson Award for his work. It happened at the U Sports Football All-Canadian and Awards Dinner.